My name is Murray Louise Stokes and I am Chief Medical Officer at Health Direct Australia. I'm actually a public health physician by, in my professional background uh, and came to work at Health Direct about two and a half years ago. Health Direct was uh, established in the mid-2000s and as a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week telephone helpline staffed by nurses uh, to give people information and advice about uh, their health issue, about what to do next essentially in their health journey as a triage service. Since those days of course it's expanded and it now has uh, a very um, popular website and uh, an app and a symptom checker and these days actually we have many more interactions through uh, those digital web services. Uh, of course the telephone helpline is still uh, in place and we also have uh, the After Hours GP uh, help and advice line for people who live in certain postcodes in the After Hours period. One of Health Direct's roles is to be responsive in a public health emergency, uh, such as a pandemic and indeed that's of course what uh, has happened this year with COVID. So Health Direct has had a very active involvement in uh, supporting the government response, public health response to COVID-19. What we have done is establish the National Coronavirus Helpline, uh, which was set up in March and has had well over a million calls since that time. A COVID-19 symptom checker, so that people can uh, check their symptoms of COVID and get some advice about what they need to do next. Uh, for example, seeing their GP for testing, etc. We have information on our website, the a hub on coronavirus information, which is kept up to date. We've also developed a COVID-19 restriction checker, which is on our website. It's an interactive tool, uh, so that if you, whatever state you live in, you can uh, look at what the restrictions are at a point in time uh, in your state or territory. So that is kept up to date uh, with all the information that's coming from the trusted sources in government and uh, we found that's a really helpful tool for people so they know that if you're in New South Wales, what are the current rules around gatherings or travel, uh, etc. Are there any restrictions? So that's been a really important part of our response in getting information out to people when they need it. The setup of the National Coronavirus Helpline was done in, in record time in, in about a week, so that was an enormous effort. It uh, required the setting up of the telephony system, uh, a record uh, that, uh, for the calls to be recorded and uh, documented. It required the um, symptom checker tool for the call agents to use. It required uh, a knowledge base, which is essentially frequently asked questions so that people can get the correct information and advice for them in there uh, where they're located. So it was a lot of infrastructure to set that up. Uh, it required engagement of um, considerably more uh, staff, um, clinical staff and general call handlers to take those calls and, and manage those calls. So all in all that was uh, a big effort getting that up uh, and continuing and it has certainly been well used and has now been extended until March next year. Health Direct also operates a video uh, call platform for video consultations. That's been in place for a number of years now, but as part of the COVID response, video call platform is available free for general practitioners and Aboriginal health services uh, until that's also been extended till the end of March. And What's good about the video call uh, tool or platform is that it is designed specifically for health interactions with all the um, privacy and security that's uh, needed for clinical consultations. So uh, we're hoping that as people start to use video more uh, with the, um, during the COVID period, that's something that GPs may want to consider, including as part of their practice going forward. I think one of the biggest challenges for us during COVID-19 uh, and our response to it has been keeping up with the demand for information that is current. Uh, the, there were times earlier on where literally information was changing daily and we had to change how we operated Health Direct to move to a seven day a week uh, round the clock monitoring of all that information and making sure that we keep that up to date and I think that has been that was a big challenge and also taking account of the differences in each state and territory as well as the national um, guidance. So 
uh, definitely that, that's been a challenge, but we now have those systems well set up and ready for any, um, any future developments in, in this uh, pandemic. I have to say, I think though, that overall, uh, the public health response in Australia has been really good. Uh, we have really good public health infrastructure in Australia that's served us well, and I think everyone's stepped up during this time and I think that's something we're all glad about.